So now we're going to look at relative position, relative velocity, relative acceleration, and also uh, a two-dimension problem, because these are all in obviously one dimension. So first of all, let's look at relative position. If we want to describe how far away this person B is from the origin, what we'd look and we'd say, well, he's five meters away from person A, and person A is two meters away from the origin, so he's seven meters away from the origin. Right? So we would say, if we want to describe his position, we would say, x of b, the position of b, is equal to the position of a plus the position of b relative to a. Right? And you write this like this, b relative to a, with a little line there. So the position of a was 2 meters from the origin, and his uh, guy b is 5 meters away from guy a, so we add another 5 meters, and we find that the position of b is 7 meters away from the origin. Okay, what if we wanted to find the position of guy C? Well, it's the position of him with respect to B, and then it's res uh, plus the position of B with respect to A, plus the position of A with respect to the origin. So we can just continue the same notation. So we would have X of C, or the position of C, is equal to, well, position of A, plus position of B with respect to A, plus position of C with respect to B. Okay, and then so we would just say this is, well, position of A is 2 meters, position of B with respect to A is 5 meters, that's the distance between them, plus the position or distance between C and B, right, the, the position of C with respect to B is 4 meters. We add these up together, we get 9 plus 2, so we find that the position of C with respect to the origin is 11 meters. Okay, cool. So let's go over to uh, relative velocity. Um, notice this is the same thing as just adding vectors, right? Um, this would be, this 4 meters here is, well, they're all in the same direction, right? From the origin in the positive x direction, so we add them all together. We're going to find that um, with velocity, sometimes we'll have vectors pointing in the opposite direction, but it's exactly the same form. So let's look at this. If we want to find the velocity of b, we can say that VB is equal to the velocity of A plus the velocity of B with respect to A. So let's look at this and try and make sense of this. If you're going at 20 meters per second to the right, and someone else is going at 20 meters per second, per second to the left, intuitively you think this would make it look like they're going 40 meters per second towards you, right? because that's how fast the distance is closing. But let's do it with, uh, with the formula here. So VB is negative 20. Right? I suppose we should define this as our positive x-axis in all of these cases. OK, so VB is negative 20. It's going to the left. Is equal to VA is 20 meters per second going to the right plus whatever the velocity of b with respect to a is. This is what we're trying to find out. How fast does it look like they're going to each other? Well, subtract 20 from both sides, and we get negative 40 is equal to vb with respect to a. Now, this negative sign indicates that it's moving to the left, um, or uh, we can say if you're in a, it looks like it's coming towards you. So that's with its velocity with respect to a. Um, we're not taking, that's not with respect to the origin, that's with respect to a. Okay, so let's look at this again. Uh, the next one, say we had them both going to the right at 20 meters per second. Well, if you're sitting in A and you're both traveling at the same speed, it's not going to look like B is moving at all with respect to you. So let's use the same formula. VB is equal to VA plus VB with respect to A. Okay, so velocity of B is 20 and going in the positive direction. Velocity of A is 20 meters per second going in the positive direction, plus VBA. <clears throat> Subtract 20 from both sides, and we get 0 is equal to velocity of B with respect to A. So that makes sense. It doesn't. If you're both traveling at the same speed, it's going to look like you're not, you know, you're not separating the distances and getting any farther. It, looks, it doesn't look like he's speeding away or slowing down towards you. Okay, how about if you're both traveling in the same direction with different speeds? Well, VB is equal to, again, VA plus VB with respect to A. 
So let's look at this. If you're going at 20 meters per second and he's going at 30 meters per second, do you think that it might look like he's going 10 kilom or 10 meters per second faster than you? Well, let's find out. So we have 30, VB is 30, VA is 20, plus velocity of B with respect to A, minus 20 from both sides, and there we go. 10, we can even say meters per second, is equal to velocity of B with respect to A. And so that, that should make intuitive sense, that if he's going a little faster than you, it's going to look like for you sitting in the car that he's, he's speeding away. Obviously, if you were standing on the ground, this guy would look like he was doing 20, and this guy would look like he's doing 30 meters per second. Okay, well, we can continue on to relative acceleration. Uh, you're going to notice that these all have exactly the same form. So if we wanted to find acceleration of B, we would say acceleration of B is equal to acceleration of A plus acceleration of B with respect to A. And these all have exactly the same form because they're all vector. This is, these are all vector addition problems, um, so they have this. They follow the same properties. So if we have acceleration of B, he's going five meters per second this way, he's speeding up faster than this car A. Car A is speeding up at two meters per second in the same direction. So let's look at this. A B is five meters per second squared. Acceleration of A is two, and plus acceleration of B with respect to A. Subtract 2 from both sides, so we get 3 meters per second squared is equal to acceleration of B with respect to A. So this means if you're sitting in car A, it looks like car B is speeding away from you at 3 meters per second squared. And that's because you're doing 2 meters per second squared and he's doing 5. Just the difference. Alright, so let's look at this. What if we had a two-dimension problem? So uh, we can do exactly the same thing because these are vectors. We can easily do this in two dimensions or even we could do it in three dimensions if we want, but that's just unnecessarily complicated for this uh, simple example. So again, we want to find what the velocity of B with respect to A is, what, like, how fast it looks like this, this car B is coming towards car A. Okay, so we do our regular thing. We say VB is equal to VA plus velocity of B with respect to A. Now uh, we're going to use I and J notation, so VB is equal to 5J hat. It's going in the positive here. We can even define an axis here. Uh, this will be the positive I and this will be positive J going up. <clears throat> okay, and it has no it has no X component or no I component because it's going straight up. Now VA is going straight to the right, so it only has a positive I component. It has no J component. So we will have uh, VA is equal to positive 10 I hat plus velocity of B with respect to A. Okay, so we want to subtract uh, 10 I hat from both sides, 10 I. So we will get negative 10 I plus 5 J Make sure we, that looks like a j is equal to the velocity, the relative velocity of b with respect to a. Okay, so this is this is actually the answer in vector format. If we wanted to put it in Cartesian coordinates, uh, we could simply we could here I'll change colors so we can see. Um, we could have the magnitude would be equal to the square root of ten squared plus five squared, which is equal to this is just doing a using Pythagoras theorem. Uh, so we'd have 100 plus 25, so we have square root of 125, and that is roughly, I think that's about 11.2 meters per second. So that's the magnitude, and we want to find the direction. So we would be able to <clears throat> draw a little vector addition triangle. We know it's going this way, uh, 10 meters per second, and it's going up at 5 meters per second. And so we would want to find the resultant with the angle. And so the theta angle here, we would just do 10, inverse 10 of 5 tenths or 1 half. Um, this is our theta, and this is going to be equal to, it's about 26 degrees. So if we wanted to write this out all nice, we could say that, yeah, 
velocity of b with respect to a is equal to 11.2 meters per second and the angle it's going at is in this way that is 26 degrees all right that's exactly the same thing as writing it here in vector form so there we go uh hopefully this makes sense to you guys just vector addition and it works for position velocity and acceleration and i'll see you guys in the next video and we'll do a, a harder example with um, a slightly more complicated 2d problem